Hi, I'm Ronnie Garrett with Supply Chain Network. I'm here today with Andy Gaughan of Bastion Solutions and Mike Krista from Service Intralogistics. My name is Mike Krista, as introduced, from Service Intralogistics from Austria. We are a material handling company offering complete material handling solution for small parts. The whole solution is completely customized according to customer needs. What you may see and what appears to you is a shuttle. It is not a shuttle system, it is far more than that. As you see, part of our system is an ASRS. We are having a rail system that connects the whole material flow within your company. So this is a very important aspect to allow you to react with no interfaces. You can deliver your goods from the ASRS directly to the places you may need, like picking stations, assembly lines, shipment areas, um, and um, yeah, packaging stations. So we are partnering with Bastion Solutions uh, to enter the US market, and uh, we would like to discuss the applications we are handling together. Thanks, Mike. And I'm Andy Gaughan. I'm an engineer with Bastion Solutions. I'm heavily involved with system level design. Um, Bastion has partnered with Service uh, in the US and globally um, because of the versatility of this equipment. We're seeing huge advantages of Service in all facets of supply chain. Uh, wine and spirits, injection molded plastic, uh, server building, retail, retail, production distribution centers, everything, automotive. Yeah. And um, what we love about service as an integrator is that it gives us the flexibility to really hit every single aspect of the supply chain in a warehouse or a manufacturing center. Like Mike said, from storage, high density storage of parts of service can handle bins, tubs, cartons, wheels, yeah. automotive wheels directly, cartons, uh, cartons, trays, uh, store it very densely and then without the need for expensive conveyor and controls bring those to different parts of the warehouse and just really take care of all the aspects of a system. Furthermore, the whole system is completely customized according to customer needs. The robot will be as fast, as large as the customer needed, as, the, as it is ideal for the customer solution. In addition to that, as Andy mentioned, there is no intelligence to the track. The whole intelligence and energy is in a transport robot itself that makes and keeps the whole system very easy. Furthermore, each robot is responsible for itself. It decides and finds its own way from the picking station, for instance, to the shipping area. What it means for the customer, the customer can start with a small invest, which is targeted to the current throughput. As the customer is growing over time, it is very difficult to predict your growth. That's why you can step by step increase your system, expand your system in terms of capacity, the processes you're connecting, as well as well the throughput. As you may want to add additional robots to the system over time to co cover this increase of your throughput. In addition to that, this decentral logic is very critical as you will never have a complete stop to your system. If one of the robots is going on the site, is in maintenance, all other robots will be covering the jobs that are given in a system. So you will always get your goods out of your ASRS in a time you need it. Yep, Mike's correct. And Bastion is excited to partner with service here in the US and globally. And we really look forward to integrating this technology all across yep. the world.